Hi, welcome. If you've got any neck or shoulder stuff going on, this one's for you. So, go ahead and grab a blanket and two blocks. If you don't have any blocks on hand, you can use the side of a couch or a chair. So go ahead and grab one of those, roll it up. You'll see what I mean when we get there. All right, so you wanna take a comfortable seat. You can use a blanket to prop yourself up or maybe even a bolster, or if you're okay with nothing, just take a comfortable seat. We're gonna be here for a while, so just make sure you're not too fidgety because we're gonna focus on the neck and the shoulders. If this doesn't feel as comfortable, you can take Sukhasana or maybe the legs straight so you kind of find it where you want your base to be, okay? And if this is really taxing just to sit here for a while, back up onto a wall. Just set, sit up against a wall, no big deal, all right? So lots of options. So settle in, take a big exhale through the mouth. Rest the hands on the knees for just a moment. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Relax the shoulders. Start focusing on the base of the neck. Big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale. Big inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth, relax the shoulders. We want them to feel better. And just take the neck in a little half moon from side to side. So maybe if you've been in the same position for a while, I know there's a lot of computer work that goes on at times, or maybe cooking or sitting stagnant in one position, this is a nice way to kind of counter everything. So side to side, nice and easy. Take it as fast or as slow as you would like. Now we're gonna take the chin over to the left and just rest that ear down. So allow that right shoulder to drop. So imagine all the weight is in the shoulder so the neck can just elongate. Then you can close the eyes, whatever feels good here. And really heavy in that right shoulder. And extend that arm. And just allow the arm, if you wanna rest it onto a block or the earth, feel free. You can kinda detect where you wanna stop. I call this my little tension detector. So if there's a spot you want to stop and breathe in, feel free. If you just want to rest the hand, feel free. If that's a little hard to get those fingertips down, grab onto a block, something to prop up that hand. And gently take that top arm and relax the shoulders down. So don't push and pull with this top arm here. It's just allowing the neck to organically open up. Just take your time with it. And if this feels like it's too much, just bring it on back down. You can hang out here. At any point, these are progressions. Just stop and breathe when you feel like that's your sweet spot. And relax both shoulders down the back wherever you landed. Utilize the breath, flush out the neck, flush out the shoulder. Take this time to really focus in on what nurturing is necessary. Our heads are kind of like the weight of a bowling ball. It's a lot going on up there. So to alleviate the neck and the shoulders can be pretty, pretty important. And we're gonna move slowly, so take your time. You're just gonna look down at your left knee, kind of in that direction. And maybe you start to feel the cord in the back of the neck opening up. So no pushing, no shoving, just kind of experience it, breathe into it. Really heavy in that right shoulder, heavy in the left shoulder, both shoulders.
and gently bring the gaze back to center. Now we're going to gently look up at the sky. Drop both shoulders once more. You may be feeling another cord of the neck opening up. Breathe. Be gentle here. Be gentle. You may be kind of sifting through some cobwebs. The neck can be neglected at times, so just sending it breath. Saying thank you for holding my noggin up for me all these days, all these years. And bringing the gaze back to center. Ah, relax both shoulders. Maybe you're experiencing a little bit more space. Whew. And keep the head right where it is. All you're gonna do is take the top arm, cradle the head, and gently bring it back to center. Whew. May feel a little different, may feel a little buzzy. So just take a moment. If you want to take a few rolls, feel free. If you want to sit there and hang out, please do. Little yoga buzz. And come back to center, other side. Ah, taking the ear over, dropping that left shoulder. Ah, and seeing the difference without judgment, just noticing which side may need a little more love. Maybe they both need equal love. Lots of weight in that left shoulder. Go ahead and get that little tension detector out. Uh, maybe you rest the fingertips to the earth or the block or stop at any level that feels like you want to breathe. And when you're ready, adding in that top arm, no pulling. Oh, there's more than enough weight in this arm if you just rest it and allow the neck to open up. And moving slowly, taking the gaze down towards that right knee, breathing into the back cord of the neck. Ah. Flesh out that cord with the breath. Do your best to relax both shoulders down, really heavy in the shoulders, but keep that spinal column nice and long. If you're leaning up against the wall, really use that support. And gently, gently, gently move nice and slow as you gaze up towards the sky. Ooh, and maybe the front cord of the neck starts to shine. Be your own chiropractor for a moment. Heavy in both shoulders. And gaze back to center. Take your time. Keep your head right where it is. Cradle it on up. Woo, and take your time. Yoga buzz, possibly. Rock it from side to side if that feels good. Take your time. And go ahead and take the chin to the chest. And gently bringing the head up. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to remove the blanket or bolster if you have one. We're going to move on to the blocks, and as I mentioned, if you don't have any blocks available, that's fine. Use the edge of a chair or a couch. It's kind of cool. You can just kind of bust this move out wherever you are, maybe even in a hotel room if you're traveling um, or you're visiting a friend's house. So it's very accessible. All right, so lots of options with the blocks. They can be high, they can be medium, or flat. 
so you decide. I tend to like my blocks pretty high so I have some room to groove and you're going to put them about shoulder distance. All right, so coming onto the knees, it's kind of like a child's pose, but we're adding in some blocks. So just take it nice and easy. Take both elbows to the blocks, hands in Anjali Mudra prayer position, and you can adjust the knees as much as you'd like. If you're on a hard service, you can pad the knees with the blanket and just allow your chest to drop. And the hands play with them. They can come back or forward. Just kind of hang out here. And the lower the chest, the bigger the opening in the shoulders and the side body. But just take it easy. We haven't done like a big hour long practice here. So this is just to open it up, kind of to round off the neck opening. And take your time. You're just going to extend the arms forward like a superhuman flying. And dip your chest and smile. You're flying. Well, that's awesome. So really, really let the chest dip down. Enjoy that. So same thing if you're on the edge of a couch or a bed or a chair, just depending on the height of it, you can kind of get the same movement going. Last five breaths. You can relax the head down if that feels good. Look forward. We're just trying to get into the shoulders and the neck here. This is a little bit of side body as well. And on your next inhale, take your time. You're going to walk it out. If you enjoyed that, stay in there longer. You can pause me at any time. Roll out the shoulders, forwards and backwards. I'm feeling pretty good. I hope you are too. Neck and shoulders nice and quick. Enjoy your day. Namaste.